we're in a new chapter, chapter 11, and we're adding and subtracting three-digit numbers. We're going to talk about adding hundreds. This is lesson 11.1. .1. We add hundreds by using the same rules as adding tens or ones. If there's no ones and no tens, we just add the digits in the hundreds place. To add 300 plus 100, we think 3 plus 1. We know the tens and ones places will be zeros. Three hundreds plus one hundred equals four hundreds because three plus one equals four. See? We know there's zeros in these place values, so we just add the three plus one equals four and we put the zeros down. Remember when we add tens and there's zeros in the ones place, we just add the digits in the tens place? It's the same thing. If we add 30 plus 10, we just add 3 plus 1, which equals 4, and then add the 0 in the ones place, right? Remember we did that? Same thing with hundreds, okay? So it tells us we need to find each sum. Two hundreds plus two hundreds, we think 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, so 200 plus 200 equals 400. 400s plus 300s, we just think 4 plus 3 equals 7. 4 plus 3 is 7, so 400s plus 300s is 700s. That's easy, isn't it? It's like first grade math. So 400 plus 300 equals 700. 600s plus 300s, we just think 6 plus 3 equals 9. 600s plus 300s equals 900s. 600 plus 300 equals 900. See? So let's see if we can add these and look for a pattern. Do you know what 2 plus 4 is? That's an easy one, isn't it? That's a 6. We're adding 1s, aren't we? Now look, we need to add two digits. Do you remember the quick way to do this? We just think 2 plus 4, which is 6, and we put the 0. So what happens when we add the hundreds? Well, we think 2 plus 4 again, which is 6, and now we add two zeros. Do you see the pattern? When we added one digit, we just added the 6. When we added tens and no ones, we added and got a 6 and added the zero ones. Now that we add the hundreds, we add the 6 to get the 6, and now we add two zeros. No zeros, one zero, two zeros. See? Let's see if we can do that again. 5 plus 4. Do you remember 5 plus 4 by heart? Do you know that right away? 5 plus 4 is 9. So 50 plus 40 would be... We do the 5 plus 4, which is 9. We just add a 0. 500 plus 400, we would just do the 5 plus 4, which is 9, and we add two zeros. See? Let's try it one more time. 3 plus 3, that's an easy one, right? 3 plus 3 is 6. For 30 plus 30, we just add the 10s. 3 plus 3 is 6, and we add one zero. For 300 plus 300, we add the 3 plus 3 and get 6, and we add two zeros. See? Did you know that sometimes we can add faster in our heads using mental math than if we used a calculator? Would it be quicker to add this in our heads using mental math or a calculator? Well, actually, we would have to press a lot of calculator keys. We'd have to put in the 1, then the 0, then the plus sign, then the 4, then the 0, and it might show the answer right away, or we might have to push an equal sign. Well, by the time we push in all of those, we could just see 1 plus 4 is 5 with a 0, right? Mental math would be a lot faster. We can just look at that and see 1 plus 4, right? Now, can you add these by using mental math? Can you do these without paper or pencil or without a calculator? Can you add these in your head? What do you think the answer for this one would be? We add the tens place. Get it eight, right? 
and then we just put the zero down. It's 80. Can you do this one, mental math? You could probably do it real quick, right? Add the hundreds place. That would be a seven. And now we just add the two zeros, don't we? So sometimes mental math can be quicker than using a calculator, especially if there's zeros after the digit we're adding, okay? So that's adding hundreds. Those are whole hundreds with no tens and no ones, okay? So just remember, you can think like you're just adding two digits and just put the zeros on, right? Okay, we're going to be exploring more three-digit addition in the next video, and I hope I'll see you there. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like my videos or if I'm helping you. Bye.